Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is IDCL with a review for Mass Effect 2. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever, and still it's not enough. What to say about Mass Effect 2? All this needed to say is RPG at its best. Can Bioware even make a bad game? So far the answer is no. Looking at Mass Effect 2 is like looking at a video game that's jam-packed with depth and plenty, plenty of gameplay for all the right reasons. This game elevates RPGs even more than they already have been. Easily can be compared to RPG greats like Fallout series, Elder Scrolls, or of course Final Fantasy series. You thought the first one was good? Check this one out. The story in Mass Effect 2 is one of the best and is highly dramatic and surprising. Mass Effect 2, of course, the succeeder to the first Mass Effect, continuing the story of Shepard and his resurrection. And now, allied with a very unexpected team, but I won't get into that. You're gonna wanna see for yourself. Gladly, this Mass Effect allows you to create a very in-depth character rather than the original default character. From skin to physics to quality, making the game that much better, and more personal. There are a huge twist in the story from the first dramatic scene to betrayal to indecisions you make. This game is all about respect. Of course, it bases itself on decision making, which only makes it that much better. This game will end like life. Every decision you make is for a reason, whether you regret it or not. A lot of side missions and factors to conquer. There is a massive amount of discovery in this game travel through a universe or travel through a mass relay to another galaxy. Every single choice you make counts basically. Work dirty and become a renegade or Captain Kirk it and become a paragon. Emotions is a big factor in this game as well. They combine romance and the damage and the challenges in this game that will affect your character in some way. Presentation in Mass Effect is phenomenal. Unreal Engine 4.1 has put together some of the best graphics game-wise as you can see in an RPG game. This game makes itself look fantastic and uses nearly full potential of next-gen consoles. As far as standard definition TVs, some qualities of picture almost seem like it's only meant for high-def screens as far as text and reading. Which is bad because still more than half the population of buyers still use standard definition TVs. There should be a patch coming for this soon, since it has been addressed to 2K and Bioware. Now as far as playing on a high definition TV, this game looks amazing, especially on an LED TV. Whether you have SD TV or HD TV, I suggest you still get this game because either way you're going to enjoy it and it will still look amazing. Worldly environments at its best and Unreal Engine continues to impress. The gameplay in Mass Effect 2 has highly been enhanced from its predecessor. With greater third person shooting action, to an outstanding allied AI system, to just great abilities and action. Almost every aspect of gameplay in this game succeeds. Movement mechanics are smoother and respectable. There's different galaxies and planets to explore, each with their own personal story. The cover mode can be a bit tricky, and although not as good as Splitter Cell or Gears of War, it's still very useful. Mechanics for commanding allied troops works perfectly. 
Almost remind you of commanding in Ghost Recon. Mass Effect 2 presents a more comfortable way of playing through the story. Only flaw in this game is loading, which is common in RPGs for huge amount of content. The soundtrack of Mass Effect 2 also plays a big part in this game. More heroic the moment, more heroic the music. More devastating the moment, more devastating the music. It seems like they did a great job of putting music together where it fits and just making this game that much greater to listen to as far as play. The Mass Effect series continue to amaze, and with their latest, they hardly show any signs of slowing down. It only makes RPGs seem that much better to buy, and truly keeps the gamer interested. Sure, you're going to see some problems throughout the game, I mean it's a long game, so what do you expect? But I guarantee those problems will be extremely minor and hardly noticeable. I give this game a 9.7 out of 10, with mechanics like these and enhancements, it's impossible to deny. This game is highly highly addictive even for non-RPG fans. I highly recommend this game. Also I have to say right now this has to be my favorite RPG game of all time. Sorry Final Fantasy. Great job 2K and Bioware. Great job.